Here's a crazy idea. What would happen if America's farmers and dairy cows went on vacation? All milk production comes to a halt. So no more cheesy pizza, creamy yogurt, or power smoothies. Of course, we'd miss our favorite dairy foods. But what would happen to all the nutrition dairy provides? Or to the environment? Well, a group of scientists went beyond guessing. Their extensive research came up with some surprising discoveries. Let's start with nutrition. Milk packs a healthy punch, containing 13 essential nutrients that benefit health and wellness. Americans get over half of their calcium and vitamin D from milk, cheese, and yogurt, plus over a quarter of the vitamin B12 that's consumed in the U.S. For many, dairy is an affordable choice of nutrition that's not easily replaced by other food sources. That's echoed by Dr. Robin White. She studied the impact of having land now used for dairy cows be repurposed to grow other foods. So when land used for feed for dairy cattle was replaced with fruits and vegetables or uh, nuts and beans, we saw a 57% reduction in the availability of vitamin B12 and a 54% reduction in the availability of vitamin D. Um, so then for calcium, we saw about a 12% and a 28% reduction respectively. That means less essential nutrients if dairy land is used to grow other crops. But what about the environment? Cows emit methane, a greenhouse gas. With cows out of the picture, how does that impact climate change? Today, dairy cows comprise only about 1.3% of all U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. That's a small sliver compared to emissions from other sectors. Because dairy cattle only contribute a proportion of agricultural greenhouse gas emissions, and agricultural greenhouse gas emissions are only about 9% of total emissions in the U.S. If we were to eliminate dairy cattle from the U.S. food production system and replace them with other agricultural processes, we estimate the equivalent reduction in total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions to be less than 1%. But the dairy industry knows that its emissions, while small, can still have an impact. That's why it's working to be more sustainable by reducing food waste, improving water quality, and advancing farm practices and technologies. And it's committed to becoming carbon neutral or better by 2050. From dairy products to fruits and vegetables to nuts and beans, a well-stocked fridge has lots of options. And cutting down our carbon footprint doesn't have just one answer. You know, there isn't one magical solution to improving greenhouse gas emissions, but but what that means is that all of our industries have the opportunity to be part of the solution. And that's part of why the dairy industry is moving toward a, a carbon neutral strategy. Seeing that dairy is good for you and is working harder for the planet, it's a good thing that cows are home. <laughs>